Hello, 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 and welcome to another video from Mommy Tiffany. As you can see right now, my camp is kind of a disaster area. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I would go about cleaning up my camp, specifically by bubbling things. So the first thing I like to do is find like items and put them together and merge them up as much as I can. And then I'll take things like these guys over here and I will pull them off to the side because I'm just going to delete them, but I'm not going to delete them right, right now. Okay. So these guys come over here. I'm going to leave these, um, dragon gems on my map because I'm still going to be working on the dragon stars. So, and any life flowers i'm gonna move them up here i am always tapping on those floating seeds because you can always use more life flowers unless you have gotten your rainbows which i personally have not okay and i just like to keep my coins up in this corner up here i'm not going to merge any of the stuff that I'm leaving on the map because I want them to take up space so that I, so, excuse me, so that I have less space I have to fill. Okay, so, whoops, I need to zoom in just a tad bit there. Is that... Whoops. I'm also not going to be bubbling any of this stone, so I'm just going to pop my stone up there too. Don't you drag that off somewhere where I don't want it. I'm going to go ahead and whoops. See, sometimes I mess up with my placements too. It's fine. I like to point out my little mistakey things for I am going to merge up some of this stone just because it makes it easier to move so this guy here needs to go over that way and now I'm going to start putting the stuff that I'm going to be bubbling into this corner over here by my golden Midas apples. Moving it all closer to that area. I don't know why I just did that part, but that's what happened. It doesn't super duper matter like where you bubble your stuff at. Um, I just watched something on the Facebook group I'm part of where they were talking about like, oh, you have to keep your stuff a certain uh, distance away from stuff and I'm like no you really don't have to keep it that far away um it literally doesn't matter how far away and if you want your dragons to stop harvesting stuff you can tell them what I like to do is have them harvest from some of these flowers And for sure it's going to make a mess of life orbs, but that's what we're going to wind up doing anyway, is to fill the camp with the life orbs. Okay, so I'm going to finish up organizing and filling my camp with life orbs, and I will be right back. Okay, I think I've got everything organized. Another thing you'll want to do is always wait for these fruit tree seeds 
or if you have any of those little white uh, life tree sprouts that are still waiting to sprout, wait until they sprout before you start doing any of this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to slide that one over there. Didn't miss that. I just think it alert. Okay. I'm going to put the extra little bubbles over here. I'm going to make sure all my dragons are holding stuff, which now I know because that just went into a bubble. They're all holding something. We're going to wait for that seed to sprout. So I'm going to pause the recording one more time until that seed sprouts. Oh, I'm going to explain. Um, if you don't wait for that seed to sprout, it will create a hole while you're bubbling. It will immediately sprout into a bubble if your camp is overfilled, which is what we're doing with this technique is we are overfilling the camp so that it forces items to go into a bubble. Um, that is the entire point of this technique. Um, I can actually do another five merge right here. So I'm just going to do that while I'm waiting for that. Oh, it sprouted. Okay, cool. So we have one little dude going off to rest. Another dragon is going to pop out when he does that. And we're just going to have that dragon pick something up. Okay, some people like to organize what they are bubbling. I'm actually going to move these because I don't want to bubble those. And then I'm going to move those over there because I do want to bubble those. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to just pretend to three merge. Keep holding on to those apples. You need three of these Midas apples. I have a few backups on the side over here just in case I need them. I'm going to hold it over the area that I want it to bubble now. And I'm going to wait for my dragons to migrate their way over to this area. Okay, as you see, they're coming on over. They're going to drop one. They'll drop two. Now they should stop dropping things at that point. Notice how they are not moving anymore. You can wait until all your dragons are there or at this point. You just release and it bubbles two items. It bubbles the right side two items each time. So if you want to keep it all nice and neat, you can do what I'm doing here, which is just keep moving items into that spot and they will all bubble into the same spot. The one downside to this is that you can't see what you have bubbled and you don't know what you're grabbing until you move them away. But as you can see, I'm very easily bubbling two items each time. Now the first time, because you have 14 dragons and you have two empty spaces, you can only bubble 12 items that way. That's six times of doing that. I like to do this when I get floating seeds while I'm bubbling because it still gives me the sprouts, but I don't have to worry about having the empty space. I have an extra dragon there with an orb, which is not a huge deal. So then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I should have. 
all my dragons holding something now. I'm not totally sure. They might have fixed the whole 14 dragons out at a time thing. And another thing you can do while you are doing this is if you have something that is taking up more than one square, um, you can actually just do that to bubble it. I just bubbled that, but doing that means your dragons now have to fill up that space again. So, really, that's a choice you can make. So, they're going to try and fill up as many spaces. So, now that they have filled up four spaces, I can tap that and it's going to bubble them. Well, maybe it only did two. I don't know. Or, yeah. Anyway, my dragons are going to come down this way again. And they will go back to the area where I want them to be. And I have seen some people who they will grab their thing and they'll do the little three merge thing there. But that sends your dragons into an area where you're trying to bubble things. And I don't like doing that. Okay, so hopefully that helps you out. Um, I'm just going to finish up cleaning up all of this mess because I like to have a neat and tidy camp. I know that's not everybody's thing. That's my thing. I like my camp to be as neat and tidy as I can have it. I like to bubble everything that my dragons can harvest off of. I like to keep all of my eggs bubbled. As you can see by this mess over here. Um, generally, I'm more organized than this, but it's been... It's been... Uh, a thing. Okay, we'll leave it at that. It's been a thing. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Hope you learned something new. Hope it was, you know, well made. Good informative stuff. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!